Hi, my name is Larry Jordan, and welcome to this Power Up webinar, taking a look at the creation of DVDs and Blu-ray discs inside Adobe Encore. We haven't looked at Encore before. There's a whole lot of stuff that's new and different that I'm looking forward to showing you. So let's get ourselves started. What I want to cover today is to show you how to create a simple DVD menu in Photoshop, how to send a project from Premiere to Encore, how to compress video for DVD or Blu-ray inside Encore. How to create and link buttons in Encore, how to add video to tracks, how to preview and most importantly test your Encore project, and how to create and test the final video TS folder. This webinar is designed to provide an introduction to using Encore to create optical media, both DVDs and Blu-ray. I haven't covered Encore before, and as I was researching the software, I realized that there are a lot of basic features that need to be covered that are different from other DVD software you may have used. So I've decided to provide a second webinar a little later this year that goes into the more advanced features in Encore, but there is some real significant fundamentals that we need to cover off first. The workflow is that you create your menus in Photoshop. You create your media projects in Premiere Pro CS6 or Audition or Final Cut or Media Composer or wherever fine media is created. You then bring these assets into Encore. All media compression is done using Adobe Media Encoder. You assemble the disk by adding menus and links and end jumps and all the rest. You test the disk inside Encore. Then you create a folder for burning called the Video TS folder or HD video TS folder for Blu-ray, and then you test the folder before burning the actual folder to the disk. Testing is critical because you always want to make sure that everything works before you commit to making 100,000 copies of what proves to be a coaster. So let's start with Photoshop. What I did is I created a new, a new menu. This is our menu here, and let me show you how I did this. You go up to File, you go down to New. Notice that under Presets, they have a number called Film and Video. Inside Film and Video, you can dial in the image size that you need to create, whether it's NTSC or PAL or HD. Once you dial this in, it then creates a preset which has guides for Action Safe and Title Safe already established for you. At this point, we're going to create a background layer, which is here. And in here, I have a a photograph, let's just turn off our buttons to keep things from being confused. I've got a photograph that I took a while ago and then just some text that I put into a perspective mode and, and I just set the blend mode to soft light to look like it's been blended into the, the background of the video. You could create something as complex as you want using all the tools inside Photoshop or just create a simple solid color background. It doesn't make any difference. The magic is in the buttons. Notice here I have three buttons. We'll select the first one. The button group has a very specific name and you need to follow it. It starts with an open parenthesis plus number sign, close parenthesis, and the name of the button. We could simply go up to File and import this as an asset. Keyboard shortcut is Command-I, sort of like a reflex in us, Command-I to bring something in. The problem is we then have to assign that asset to be a menu or a pop-up menu if it's a Blu-ray disc or a timeline or slides to a slideshow. I much prefer to do all that at a single pass. So either by going up to File import as. Let's bring in the menu. The menu happens to be our DVD main menu that I was working with. See, there it is. Click on open. A little bit of humming and whistling, and there's our menu brought in. Lists it there, DVD menu, main menu. Or right mouse click is another option. Import as. Let's bring in a timeline. All video needs to be put onto a timeline so it can be played back on a DVD. So I'm going to bring in my Outtakes movie. This is so cool. I have to show this to you. Okay, this is a, a really important shot of the train coming out of the tunnel. The camera is poised to see what it looks like. Watch this. This is great. Boom! We have a train accident. <laughs> ah, I love it. Yes, indeed. This time, the camera was bigger than a 300-ton engine. I'll, I'll fall off my chair every time I see it. 
you know, you, you know, as a camera opera, you say, I want to get this really, really close, and you just got too close. All right, let's do one more time. Right, let's right mouse click inside here. Import as, let's bring in another timeline. We're going to bring in train 01, which is this beautiful wide shot of the train, sort of cruising past all this wonderful scenery. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar looking at how to create DVDs and Blu-ray discs inside Adobe Encore CS6. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.biz slash store and look for Webinar 89. By the way, membership on our website is a great value. Do you need to stretch your training dollars? A subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. At an incredibly low monthly price of only $19.99, you get more than 500 movies, dozens of hours of training, all in-depth and up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple, Adobe, and Autodesk software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.biz slash subscriptions. Thanks.